Hello you guys, I'm Sam Ali and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to cheat on The Sims. Alright y'all, so these are some of the cheats that I use basically all the time, every single time that I play The Sims. Um, if you guys didn't know, I actually made this house. It is Granny's Cottage. It's called Clover Cove. The speed build is on my channel. I'm going to link it up above so you guys can go watch it. And um, yeah, let's get into this. So cheating in The Sims is probably one of the easiest things you can do in the game. You can use cheats for a variety of different things um, from needs, relationships, um, uh, free real estate, build and buy mode cheats, uh, create some cheats. So I'm going to get into that right now. What you're going to do to make this cheat box pop up is click control shift and C at the same time and then you'll see it pop up on the left hand corner of your screen. So let's say um, I want to increase Granny's needs over here. So we're gonna go to our cheat box and we're gonna type in exactly testing cheats space true. So this sort of enables the cheats so that any other cheats that you type in, it will go ahead and um, you know get it going for you. So by enabling um, cheats by using the testing cheats true um, you are able to level up her needs so all you have to do is click shift and then um, press on the sim and then here a whole nother menu will pop up and you want to go over to cheat need and make happy you can also do the same thing to um, disable need decay so if you disable it her needs will not go down, they won't move, they won't do anything, they'll just stay the way they are. And if you want to enable it back so that, you know, her needs will change, you just do enable need decay. And you will see slowly but surely, um, her needs will move. You can kill your sims, which I wouldn't do that if I were you, but if you want to go off <laughs> um, change some bathing options so you can make her look super tan let's actually see this because i've never done this before oh my gosh <laughs> um so yeah there is a variety of things you can do um just by enabling cheats and doing the shift um plus clicking your sim skill boosting cheats so as you see here Aaron doesn't have you know that many skills um so we're gonna level some up we're gonna level up painting um not all skills are leveled up through this um cheat but a lot of the base game skills are i can link down below a website for all of the cheats so you don't have to worry about trying to figure it out um and literally all you have to do from that website is copy and paste but for most traits in the base game this is what you would do stats dot set underscore skill underscore level oops make sure you spell it right you guys space major underscore painting and in order to max out the skill you would do 10 but um if you just want to level up to the next level or it's a you know a couple levels up you would just type in whichever level you wanted to go up to so i want to go up to like level six and and boom you will see that her skill level has reached six and i know it doesn't show it here but if you click around and then come back it should pop up you can also increase the skill levels of toddlers and children i'm not going to go through those because we don't have any of those in this household but i will definitely link them down below so that you guys can check them out so there are also promotion cheats if you guys are trying to promote your sims 
in whatever profession they're in here's how you do it careers dot promote space careers underscore adults underscore education and that promotes her up to the next level so now she is at education level two and so that she pretty much works for the professions that come with discover university if you were to have just like a regular um, career or profession from base game you would follow a different set of cheats obviously the doctor career um, you would do careers dot promote space and then doctor and so that'll level you up to the next level you would do that sort of cheat um, careers dot promote and then space blank for whichever careers or professions that come with the base game you can also do this for part-time jobs um, you would do careers dot promote space part-time capital P capital T underscore and whatever part-time job you guys would have you can also modify relationships within the sims so if we wanted to make Erin and her grandma lucinda bffs this is the cheat that we would do we would type in modify relationship space Aaron so we will put in modify relationship our played sim which is the sim we're on now um, Aaron and then we would put the target sim which is her grandma Lucinda right Meryl and you want to make sure that you type your sims names right and that you follow this step by step next um, we're going to put 100 because that means that they're BFFs if you wanted your sims to be like friends or good friends or whatever you would just do 50 or 75 I'm not sure um, which one you know pertains to which but if you weren't necessarily looking for their friendship bar to go 100% green um, you just want it 75 or 50 percent you would type in accordingly and then you would type in LTR underscore friendship underscore main and boom you will see that they are what best friends now but their bar is 100% green and it's a similar cheat for if you want two sims to be um, you know like soulmates or completely like romantically involved you would do um, modify relationship played sim you know their first name then their last name and then the target sim first name last name and you would do 100 whatever percent that you want romance underscore main if you want to make two sims enemies um you would follow the same steps except you would write um negative whatever percent that you would want them to be so like negative 100 negative 75 um and that will bring their that'll bring their friendship bar to the red and they will be um either like disliked or enemies all right so let's say you want to change one of granny's traits over here so um we don't want it to be good we want it to be evil <laughs> so we've got we are going to change it by typing in cast.full edit mode enter and by clicking shift and pressing your sim you can go to modify and create a sim 
and it'll take us directly to create a sim mode and we will be able to change traits, muscle mass, relationships, likes and dislikes, you know, all of the things that you aren't normally able to change. So here we can take out good and replace it with evil. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and then you'll see here that you can make her even more, um, you know, muscly, or you can take it down a lot. Um, this is the cheat that you would use to change the things and create a sim that you wouldn't normally be able to change. Also, by um, clicking shift and clicking on your sim, you know, at the same time, you can remove the sim from the family, um, reset object. So if your sim ever gets like stuck in one position or something like that, you can reset it here and um, they'll go back to normal. Next, we're gonna get into some build mode cheats. Um, these I use, again, super often. All right, so let's say I want this paper towel holder to go on the sink next to the dishes, but it won't let me. So I'm going to go up here to the cheat box and I'm going to do bb.moveobjects on. And that will allow me to move the paper towel holder wherever I want it to go. Let's say I wanted to move this trash can, you would do move bb.move objects on and then you would press and hold option and then I can kind of place this trash can wherever I want it to go. So um, you want to make sure that whenever you are um, building and you're putting objects in different places that um, you are keeping things in spaces that you think your sim will be able to get to um, just so that you don't do all that hard work and then you go back into live mode and your sim can't get to it and you have to go back and forth you know that's super annoying another cool thing about using cheats is that um, you are able to move things up or scale things up to different heights um, that is what I did for this reef and this TV over here. I moved this TV up here and I'm going to show you guys how to move this basket of um, pillows up there. So all you would do is press option and you would press 9 and that raises it up some. You just keep pressing remember press and hold option but click 9 and next if you are trying to find debug mode um, items this is the cheat you would use bb dot show hidden objects boom and so here we would be able to see all of the hidden objects. Um, this is all of the crons, I guess. I don't really know what that is, but they look cool though. <laughs> um, so all of the frogs, Easter eggs, um, pictures and paintings, um, snow globes, skulls, like literally everything you could possibly think of. Um, let's say you want to size up an object so you would press and hold option and do the brackets. You would do the left bracket for um, you know sizing down and you would do the right bracket for sizing up. You can also teleport your sims Press and hold shift and click on any place on the ground and do teleport here. And so by doing that, we teleport our sim to wherever we want her to go. Money cheats are obviously one of the um, most used cheats personally, um, but we are going to try that now. So um, 
um, if you want like a smaller amount like let's say five thousand dollars or something like that you would type in kaching so k-a-c-h-i-n-g and boom it's actually a thousand dollars my bad but if you want to do like five thousand I guess you would just type in ka-ching like five different times and then that'll give you 5,000, you know, 1,000 each time. Or if you want your sims to be loaded, you can do mother load. So mother load cheat is um, something I do in case I forget to um, go in like the manage worlds uh, tab when I'm building and I forget that like I only have a certain amount of money in my sims disposal to like build and stuff I do mother load mother load gets you fifty thousand dollars or some millions and um, that is pretty helpful and pretty generous <laughs> you can also type in money space whatever amount that you want and that'll change um, your sims household funds to that exact number so if we want our grandma to be loaded and have a um, hundred thousand dollars or a hundred thousand millions we would type in money one hundred thousand and boom that'll add 14,105 simillions to our accounts so that we have exactly 100,000 simillions so let's say you're trying to move your household um, realistically granny would not be moving anywhere she loves her cottage she loves Brunson Bay she would not be moving anywhere but for the sake of this video um, let's say granny wanted to move and um, let's say she wanted to move to Hound's Head. Hound's Head is $192,000 basically. So we don't quite have that much. But what we can do is cheat. So we will do Control Shift C to make our cheat box pop up. And we will do Free Real Estate One. And so that allows us to literally move wherever we want to regardless of how much it costs to move in um, once you get in though if the bills are super high don't at me <laughs> so if you're trying to take a really cute picture of your sims and you want to get rid of this little plum bob up here here's how you do it you do headline effects off and boom it's gone and now you can take this really cute picture of your sims and so yeah you guys that is the video i really hope that you guys are able to learn a thing or two from this video um using cheats i hope you guys know or have learned is not that hard at all literally all you would need to know is how to spell the cheats correctly and before even that you need to make sure that you type in testing cheats true because that enables your cheats if you don't type that in your cheats will not um work so yeah thank you guys for vibing with me and i will see you all next time bye guys